Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to the session. Um, I, uh, I'm, yeah, as uh, Catherine was already saying, I'm, I'm from Mandala. Mandala is a global company. Uh, uh, we do conscious innovation. Uh, it was, just to give you a little bit of background about the company, um, it was founded uh, around 10 years ago in Sao Paulo because uh, uh, the consultants at on that time, they were thinking that there is actually a lack of uh, consultancy work that is really bridging the purpose of what the companies are, are doing. Uh, and that the benefits for uh, society and for the environment is not good enough. So um, therefore, our aim at, at Mandala is really to bridge uh, profit and purpose. There, there, that's why we call it conscious innovation. So at the moment, um, we uh, let's say the headquarters is in Sao Paulo, but we have offices in, in Mexico, New York, uh, Berlin, and uh, Tokyo. And uh, yeah, here in Berlin, we are a, a, we are a small company. We're about five people. Um, we do uh, product design, uh, product innovation, service innovation. We work on topics related to purpose, so supporting companies to to develop their, their purpose um, as well as seeing how you can activate it within and outside the company. Uh, so those are, at the moment, let's say the, the, the most important um, domains that we are working on currently. I'm going to briefly um, present you um, a case study that we've been working in uh, around three months ago. We've been working with a global company that uh, offers pet care products. So we were supposed to create, innovate um, a new pet food product. Um, and we have a little bit of experience with this company. We've been working with them for a while. Um, and in the past, we've been working, let's say, doing quite a lot of um, uh, qualitative research and then afterwards doing a three days um, workshop to really develop the ideas to give the results of the of the of the research, and then yeah, create innovation around the product. This time, the last time, we uh, decided to do a sprint with them because we thought we have already a lot of insights about the about the the customers, and we want to give it much more time. Um, rather than doing things within three days, we want to work within five days, and we want to work also with specialists, with designers. Um, invite other experts in the realm so that the ideas are also uh, becoming much more, let's say, getting more flesh, let's say, no? Um, so I want to present you just one, like one part of the jobs to be done, of, of the process of uh, using the, the methodology of jobs to be done that was really helpful. So this is again just a little bit about about Mandala, um, and then within the um, so I suppose that all of you are part of the realm of, of service design, design thinking, or yeah, you are some familiar of. Some of, them. not yeah? everybody. Okay. So I just want to know, I don't want to be patronizing and telling you something that <laughs> you might know. Uh, so this is one of the customer journeys that we um, created. So what we created uh, before the event was actually uh, what is happening uh, and then what is uh, the feeling that the person is having, let's say, what, it, what is really the issue. Um, and therefore, the people during the during the um, designathon we called our sprint, uh, they were supposed to map what really is the the feeling about how bad or how good it is. Uh, they had to develop uh, jobs to be done, uh, jobs to be done, but this was supposed to be linked to a specific feeling. So we said, okay, we want. You always say, okay, you the important bit about. I don't know how to stop this. What's up? What's up? What's Okay. So, um, I don't know. 
You're so smart. Cool, thank you. So when you are identifying a, um, uh, you're, you're identifying a, a moment within the journey of our user, in this case it was um, Paula. Paula, um, we want to depict one day of her. And in this case we were saying, okay, uh, her big issue related to her pet is that she is lacking time. She's lacking time to spend uh, with, the, with the pet. Um, and, but we really wanted to identify what is the feeling that she has. It's not only frustration because she doesn't uh, have the time to spend with the pet, but it needs to be much more specific. What is really the emotion that she is feeling? Um, by identifying this feeling, we would be able to really um, find what is the job to be done that we really want to aim. So what is the positive emotion uh, that contrasts the negative emotion that we, s with that we have identified um, that we want to have within our job to be done. So that means that uh, we had a scheme with which we've been working. Uh, so these are 24 negative emotions. We had like a, a table and we said, okay, what would be the negative emotions uh, that we have here? So it can be embarrassment, uh, you have um, uh, uh, frust well, frustration, you have like uh, pain, it would be anger, it would be, I don't know, there would be different ones. And linked to that, um, what is the positive emotion that we want to evoke with our pain point, with our, sorry, with our uh, job to be done. Um, and this was very helpful so that we can really design the, the, the experience much more precisely than if we wouldn't know what is the, the emotion that we want to create with them. So this, um, in this case, we collaborated with uh, the University of Delft. Um, the University of Delft is uh, focused on uh, designing for emotions. Um, so it was an interesting tool that they provided uh, during the session to really come up with um, with more specific emotions that we want to create uh, in the jobs to be done. Um, and this next one is kind of the formula that we created also for making it much more understandable to the people within the, the workshop how it works. So for instance, the pain point that they saw within the uh, customer journey is the cat wakes up Natasha too early in the morning. So therefore, we are seeing not only the problem about um, feeding the cat, but we are really having a, 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 a looking into a con the context of the person. Um, and then we say, okay, we have identified, uh, the, so it's the pleasant morning experience is the job that we want to create. And the linked emotion to that would be to being relaxed. And from there, we created our design question. So how might we create a pleasant morning feeding experience that makes the pet owner feel relaxed? So um, through this formula, um, for especially for people who are not so familiarized with the, with the methodology or participating in this workshop, um, this type of workshops, uh, it was much easier for them to digest and to see where we actually want to go. Um, yeah, I think that's basically what I wanted to share with you, the, the, the one tool um, that we worked in relation to the emotions um, and how we link the different levels of, of information that we have. So here is just a scene of um, how it worked. So um, the, the, the journey that we have the situation uh, of what was happening, um, the pain point that they would have, the emotional level, the job to be done that they created, and uh, the emotions in, in pink, you can see. And from there, uh, each of the teams created um, their uh, design questions that had to have the, the positive emotion, basically. Do you have any questions or? You said you worked in teams. Did they work on the same problems or pain points, or they split it up along the journey? We were actually three different teams because our client wanted to um, 
uh, have uh, three different types of, of challenges, let's say. So, uh, let's say one team would be working on one customer mm, journey, okay. one persona, the other one on another type of persona, and the third one on another one. Yeah. And they created different design questions, and then they voted which would be the most relevant for the overall experience of the, um, of the, of the user. Uh, and therefore, and of course, then we saw, okay, uh, how much do the, the different questions that uh, have been created relate to each other? How different are they from each other so that they don't come up with maybe, it happens that you come up with, uh, you end up with a kind of like similar uh, design questions, although you had a different challenge. So that was helpful to, to share with the rest of the people, which is the uh, design question that we, uh, that each of the teams were uh, going to tackle, um, for then have uh, different type of solutions as well. Other questions? Let's say we want to make it crisp and have in a series of inputs, but I think we can discuss up to five questions. So you have the jobs that were done, and then positive and the negative, and the design questions. Did you then go back to the jobs and we added them, or did you stay with that? Because um, often it's sometimes that you think that you have the right job, but basically the problem or the job that needs to be solved is a different one. Or did you just go on with it like that? So um, after we created the design question, we um, we made a kind of assessment to see how relevant is actually the, this, this design question to tackle this type of issue that we have identified um, for the overall experience. If it's okay, it's helping for one part of the, of the journey, but it's not going to make the experience, the overall experience of the user uh, m much nicer and much relevant and much more valuable overall, then we would go for another one. Yeah. Yeah. Having a cat who wakes me up too early, I'm really curious to what you designed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the thing at, at that moment, uh, it, it, was, um, it was a project uh, much more related to uh, product innovation to packaging. And therefore we had to think about a solution that this is a common issue with uh, cat owners, apparently. Um, and therefore what we said, okay, the moment of, of um, the feeding moment needs to be very quick, needs to be very efficient so that um, I just, you know, open my eyes, I'm st maybe still sleeping, um, and then uh, I just open it up and then I go back to, 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 to my bed. So uh, one of the design solutions that we came up with is that we had a mat, basically that would be of uh, silicone or something, so it would be very sticky, and um, the packaging would be quite slim, um, but would fit perfectly in this mat, so it would have like a hole, and you would integrate it there, um, so that on the one hand you can open it easily, and for the cut it's also much more a better experience also for the cut because the whiskers are not supposed to be too, mm. in, let's say, have much contact with the, with the pot, let's say, or the, the packaging. Yeah. And on the other hand, you don't need to clean up anything. It can eat directly from the packaging itself. Okay. Did you observe cats for a long time? <laughs> <laughs> not personally, because they decided to, to do it in, in, in the, the, the research in Italy and in Australia, so I wasn't able to do the research myself. <laughs> But I read Tom's book. <laughs> 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 Maybe uh, the last one. I mean, you, you showed this, it was called Emotion Studio or so, this framework, exactly. framework for different emotions. So uh, how, did, how did you involve this in the whole process? So did people uh, from the, um, the user side said, OK, this is the situation I feel in, a big emotion, or, or you use this and synthesize your findings or in what way was the ground in the user? Or did it was connected with the user research? Yeah, that's my question. Whether it was connected with Whether the user. And how. Yeah. Um, 
let's say it was connected with the user research in terms of um, Let's say we use it much more to analyze really the situation of the user and to identify because at that moment you cannot, um, some of the personas and, and uh, the information that we mapped out is not like one to one um, to the, the research that we've been doing. Yeah. So we wouldn't be able to say, okay, you don't feel frustrated, you actually feel angry about it or you feel, right? So it's much more of um, creating empathy at that moment with the, with the, with the user while uh, in this process during the workshop and identifying, okay, if I would be in the position of this, uh, of this user, how would I feel? Okay, and then picking identifying. cards for this. Exactly, so it would be like a table that we have, a grid with the different emotions. Mm -hmm. Um, and from there on, we would work uh, with the positive emotions that would contrast the negative one. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I would say, Valeria, thank you very much for this.